Tonight, from Kabul, Afghanistan, more U.S. Marines and Army soldiers hit the ground and get ready to roll for a final assault on the Taliban, to hunt for Osama bin Laden, and to deliver humanitarian aid. We'll bring you complete coverage inside Afghanistan. Also tonight, the life and death of a music legend, the Beatles' George Harrison. This is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Continuing coverage of the war on terrorism. Reporting tonight from Kabul, Afghanistan, here is Dan Rather. Good evening from Kabul, Afghanistan. Another major story tonight is the passing of George Harrison. The former Beatle died in Los Angeles from cancer, his family by his side. He was 58 years old. Harrison's life and music reached for the same notes, inner strength and inner peace, and struck a chord with millions. CBS's Mark Phillips reports on the death and life of George Harrison. There's a Beatles song for just about every occasion. I read the news today, oh boy. And today, the news was bad. They gathered at the John Lennon Memorial in New York to mark the death of another Beatle. And then there were two. George Harrison's death, unlike Lennon's, was neither sudden, nor violent, nor shocking. His religious conviction, he had said, expressed in his first solo hit single, had prepared him for death. Of all the Beatles, George Harrison hadn't been the brash one, or the cute one, or the funny one. He'd been the thoughtful one, seeking not fame, but answers. The purpose of life is to find out who am I, why am I here, um, um, where am I going? That's the, what we need answering. And Harrison, as his friends knew, had found those answers. I'm just privileged to have known him, and I love him like he's my brother. It was a very sad day for me and for a lot of other people. It's a big cigarette I will for a big man. George Harrison had had throat, then lung, then brain cancer. The cigarette gags, amusing when he was young, had long since stopped being funny. The man they called the reluctant Beatle is now getting the credit he is due. He was the musical backbone. His were the riffs the whole world played air guitar to. He led the group on its journey toward Eastern mysticism. And he, too, was the songwriter of enduring tunes. Even Sinatra called Something the best love song of the past 50 years. If the Beatles provided the soundtrack for a generation, Harrison provided the theme songs for his own life. It doesn't take long to be from 17 to being 57. Mm. 40 years just goes like that. In his life, George Harrison never saw himself as more than he was, a working class rocker from Liverpool who was good enough and lucky enough to become famous around the world. More than guitars are gently weeping today. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London. Next up on the Friday CBS Evening News, the political blame game heats up over the downturn in the U.S. economy.